Hi, this is Kwat Namat. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will speak about two very, very simple but very useful indicators for Bitcoin. So, um, problem with Bitcoin is that it's really hard to understand if value of Bitcoin is fair or not. And if you trade stocks, for example, you have many different indicators or ratios you can use to estimate a fair price for, for a stock. And after that, you can decide to buy it or sell it. And um, for example, for stocks, you can use um, so-called PE ratio, so price versus earning ratio. So you just take price of your um, share, you divide it by earnings per share, and you get a value. And based on this value, you can understand if uh, stock is overvalued or undervalued. So problem with Bitcoin is not it's not a company. You cannot it doesn't has any earnings. So, um, but there is a way to uh, work with it. So this NVT ratio is basically uh, PE ratio for uh, cryptocurrencies. So how it actually works. So this NVT stands for network value to transaction ratio. And it's calculated pretty simply. So you just take your uh, network value for Bitcoin. This is just basically market capitalization. So basically price of all bitcoins and after that you divide it by um, a volume of transmitted bitcoins uh, through the blockchain uh, over last 24 hours so that's it basically for um, nvt ratio they smoothed it a bit with uh, 40 days uh, median but that's actually it and you kind of receive uh, this kind of plot and uh, so basically, uh, unusual high values can actually mean that Bitcoin is overvalued and unusually low values can mean that Bitcoin is undervalued. It's probably a good time to buy it. And um, um, Bitcoin uh, NVT signal is basically idea is the same, but it's computed a bit different way. So instead of just using uh, daily transaction value, they're using a 90 days moving average of this daily transaction value and that's it. This way they kind of smooth it. And uh, from my experience, um, NVT signal works a bit better and kind of you can uh, value Bitcoins a bit, bit better with NVT signal. So I think, uh, but I think you should take a look at both of them. So let's go now to TradeMU. I implemented um, these two indicators in TradeMU as well. So here you can see this is an uh, indicator and um, so this line represents NVT or NVTS uh, line so you can change what do you want to display here so NVT or NVTS also you can change uh, what um, parameters used for calculations you can ch change NVT length of median uh, smoothing or NVTS uh, moving average length as well so at the moment I'm using uh, just two static lines to uh, represent uh, overbought and oversold um, kind of areas. So if a line is red, so probably it's a good time to sell Bitcoin. And when it's green, it's probably a good time to buy Bitcoin. So um, if you look at um, PineScript, PineScript code is quite simple. So basically we just go to Quantle and we get uh, this um, uh, transaction volume and market capitalization from Quandle daily chart. So it's quite simple. You know, we can see that calculations are quite simple as well. So it's really, really simple, but, but it's quite powerful. You should, you should definitely check it. And uh, probably it won't work very good on its own, probably you need to combine it with other uh, indicators. And um, this, this is the simplest possible way just to put like static lines here but you can probably create something more interesting you know um, probably something like Bollinger Bands or smooth area or, or, or some sort of other kind of uh, more adaptive levels uh, to market conditions I will experiment further with um, with this NVT and NVTS uh, indicators and I will publish my findings as well but I think you can just look at it as is at the moment. I think it can be a good start for you. It's really nice one. So I think that's uh, it for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.